So, uh, this video will be showing some uh, 4x4 walkthrough soles using uh, Yao, which everyone uses nowadays. So looking around, I spot this white bar, I spot this edge, which I probably will try and preserve. Uh, and there's the last edge, so I'll do... What was that? To preserve it, and then I'll do an FU, and now I've solved that white and preserved um, an edge. So then I uh, pair that up, insert, pair the other one up, do an R to solve. Uh, spot these two pieces, uh, that orange center solve, but whatever, solve it, and then I, uh, oh, I'll go for green. <laughs> Solving that strangely. Uh, so then I'll set these up to have the correct orientation. I've got a solve red center, which is nice. Uh, so I'll solve half of the blue. Uh, there's the other part, so... I uh, inserted that and inserted this in the back. Uh, solve the other part of the green centre and solve orange. There's the two edges I need. So I solve it and then just do a D. Misalign by U prime. Uh, I spotted green orange and now I need to look for orange blue. So there's the orange blue, yellow red. It's just over there. So I do a U prime insert this edge so that when I bring it across I get green red and there's the opposite edge and uh, oh I'm done with the um, uh, you know the last eight edges so I start just doing F to L well. uh, and I get all parity I think I'll be left with an H case at the end there if I uh, don't screw up our little parity like I just did. What have I done wrong here? Yeah, I screwed up our little parity, so the soul gets uh, completely destroyed because of that. If that was to happen. Okay, so solve, resolve that F2L pair and. Right, now I don't have a little parity that I screwed up. I think it's because I was going through it slower than I normally did. And uh, I got parallel parity as well. So I'll rotate here, do an R perm, and get parallel, solve my parallel parity. Okay, that was terrible. So, uh, as I look around, I spot those uh, three white centres, uh, the red one that's also orientated, I'll probably preserve that again. So I do a U-turn to solve these, I do a D, so that when I do an R2U, uh, oh, well, that's solved as well, uh, it's all solved, so I do, I insert that and uh, I've got all the cross edges solved now, which is weird. So I'll solve the yellow part there, do an R2 to continue to preserve them. Go into the uh, mat, yeah. Go to where it isn't, so I can preserve them. So uh, yeah, I've never if I had that happen in actual solve before, but still. So uh, orange uh, is in its correct spot, so we'll uh, insert it like so. That solves the blue center. That solves the orange and red. I'll oh, supposed to be on the bottom. So there's a uh, white green. There's the other white green edge. So I bring that up like so. And solve it kind of efficiently. Uh, insert that edge. Uh, solve it. Uh, insert it so I can solve this edge. And now I'm looking around for a red. Yeah, so I, I, I solve that. Insert that, solve that edge. Spot that, so I flip this edge so I can solve the, that edge. Do a U2 and insert it back. Take that out of the back slot, insert it into the front. 
flip it, and now I'm done with the last eight edges. Sold their foil pair, so I spot that. Uh, insert it so I ring edges, which means I've not got OLL parity. Uh, do a U2, and oh, I got no parity at all, which is awfully nice. I've been explaining these really, really badly. Right, so I spot these yellow, and there's a white bar right there, so I think I'll go for white first, because if I do a U2 uh, like that, that solves it. I pair that up, uh, get out of the way so that, you know, it doesn't, you know, do anything bad. So yeah, I, I do an R2 to solve this, I'll do a U so I can bring that up once more. F2, so that as I solve it, you know, the centers are solved. Uh, there's the blue, so I uh, position it so it can go in. Solve the green white edge, and now uh, red, white, and insert it down there instead because that's where it's supposed to go. Uh, orient green correctly, get red done. Doing our prime red so I can solve the red center. Since the red's on D. And then I set up the bars correctly. And it's green on bottom, so I have to insert the left side. Uh, there's the white orange edge, so oh nice efficient way of uh, doing it. So I do a U prime and I noticed that that was there before I did the U prime. Now I can just flip this edge. Uh, I spot that's where that goes. Do a U prime, I'll solve four of the edges. I only intended to do three, but whatever. I uh, insert this edge, insert this edge, do a U prime, solve it, and insert the edge that has uh, the red, white, red, yellow, red there to solve it. And then I just insert this edge and uh, do the thing with the last two edges. Solve the red, blue, F12 pair. Uh, and I think I could get. No, I'm not going to get parity. Oh, I'll parity. No, I will. I'm an idiot. Uh, and then I get OLL parity. Solve the case I got. And now I've got PLL parity as well. So I've got double parity. Alright, last solve. Right, so as I look around, I notice that I can move, get a bar there straight away, and uh, white, there they all are, none are paired up. So I'll go for this yellow edge, where if I do a U, it's already got this, so now I can just do an F2. And I've solved the yellow center. I orient this, because as I brought that down, I noticed that I could pair those up. There's the last two centers, and I just insert it like so. Uh, there's an already paired up cross edge. There's another cross edge done, and now I look for the white blue corner. I can't find it, but I spot these two. So I put them both in the M slice and insert it. And yeah, so I see this, so I immediately know that that needs to go back there. I put it on the D so I can bring this down and bring it to the left side where it should go. Bring this up again, and I've solved half of the centers. So yeah, I spot these two and those two, but I'll do red first, because uh, that's on D. And it sets this up nicely to continue that. And if I do a F2 and bring this down, I can just do um, a nice swap. So then there's those two edges to finish off the cross, I, uh, and I solve it. So yeah, I just do a simple U prime because uh, that already solves an edge. Uh, I find that edge, so I can insert it there. I look for yellow blue. Uh, it's over there, so I th I'm just going to do a U prime. 
and then move that slot over here and solve a couple more and flip it. I'm not going to go for F12 this time because there's no point.